Step-by-step -step installation of Windows FX 11. Windows FX is an operating system that lets you supercharge your Windows experience. Windows FX is not only UI tweaked to resemble Windows, but also behaves like a Windows system. Don't forget to subscribe and get notification from Educazai channel. In this video, we will guide you systematically walk through how to install Windows FX 11 on a physical machine or VirtualBox or VMware workstation. For this video guide, you will require the following for the version of Windows FX you prefer. Number 1. Windows FX 10 or 11 To install Windows FX 11, ensure you meet low requirements. Minimum 2 cores CPU, but recommended 4 cores. Minimum memory 2 GB, recommended 4 GB. Minimum disk space of 20 GB hard disk, recommended 64 GB SSD. Next requirement number 2. Rufus, a Windows and macOS based application used to convert a disk into bootable media. Next requirement number 3. A virtualized environment like VirtualBox, SenNG or VMware. You are required to create a virtual machine for you to be able to install Windows FX 11 with this video guide. Okay, now let's go to the installation steps. Step 1. Create bootable media. Firstly, you have to download your preferred version of Windows FX from the official Windows FX downloads page. Alternatively, you can use command get to pull your desired Windows FX ISO file as on video. With the ISO file, we need to create bootable media for us to be able to install Windows FX on a physical machine. We can use Rufus to create the bootable media. Also, there is another simple method to create a bootable disk for Linux users using the terminal. In the command, remember to replace ISO file with the path of your ISO file and drive location with the path of your USB disk identified with the LSBLK command. Okay, step number two. Create Windows FX 11 in a virtualized environment. For those using VirtualBox, create a VM for Windows FX as shown on video. Assign a name to the VM. You also have to assign memory to the VM and create the disk. Then assign the disk space for the Windows FX virtual machine. Now you will have your VM created. We now need to mount the downloaded Windows FX ISO file to it. Go to the VM settings, then to storage, as shown on video. Click on the icon next to IDE secondary device to load the OS file. Now your machine is ready for Windows FX installation. Proceed to step 3. For those using VMware hypervisor, we will do the same thing as we did for VirtualBox. Click on New to create a new VM. Here we begin by loading the ISO file. Step 3. Install Windows FX 11 on physical machine, or VirtualBox, and VMware. Now we have come to the crux of this guide, where we have to install Windows FX 11. On a physical machine, you will have to modify your boot options to boot from the bootable media, or USB. When your device is powered on, 
you will see Windows FX start with this icon, Install System. Click on the icon to begin the installation. Installation starts with this page where you are required to choose your language. Click Next to proceed to the next step where you are required to select your location. Then, set your preferred keyboard. Proceed to the next step, where you have to do disk partitioning. There are two options here, using the entire disk, or doing manual partitioning, in case you do now want to use the entire disk for Windows FX. Proceed to user account creation set the username and password. Now we are set to install the system. Click Install to commence. Sit back and relax as you wait for the process to complete. Once the installation is complete, you will see this notification. Now that the installation has been completed, you are required to unmount the ISO file for those using a virtualized environment before you power on the system. For physical machine installation, just unplug the bootable media and restart your machine by clicking on Done. Well, now we go to the step 4, Windows FX 11 post-installation basic configurations. At your screen, the system will power on as on video. Log in with the credentials created earlier. Then Windows FX will start as shown. Once done, the system will reboot. On successful powering on, you will configure your voice assistant. Then configure on drive. With the settings done, you will see this. The next important thing to do is to configure dot executable and dot msi application support you will be required to install wine as shown and the necessary packages will be downloaded as shown when you are done installing the required software launch powershell from the apps menu issue the command to know the kernel you are running You can now install both Linux and Microsoft applications on Windows FX. That marks the end of this amazing video guide on how to install Windows FX 11 with step-by-step -step details. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Goodbye.